Hey, this is Heidi Castle here, WordPress 101 for Boomers. And we are working on the Weaver theme. Uh, it's a theme that you can use for WordPress uh, that, that makes it really easy for you to customize and change how it looks. It also works well on mobile devices and things like that. And we've been going over some of the different things you can change under their main options. Uh, let's go on over. This is the site that I'm currently working on. And we're not going to leave the uh, sidebars looking like that. But uh, let's go on into the Weaver where the different things are to change here. And you can find it by going to Appearance, Weaver 2 Admin. And from there, we click on the main options, and then all these here will show up. And right now, we're going to go over the links and the content areas. Uh, I think there's one more thing here on the menus I was going to go over here, too, at the very bottom. There's an info bar you can have here and you can have it show up if you want um, the info bar is not showing up on the home page but it's showing up right here on each post that lets me know this post is in the category recipe and then you can go back to the home it gives you one more way to navigate and if someone wants to go see more recipes they can go click right on that it makes more places for your people to go ahead and find content on your site things that are interest to them they're interested in this recipe, they might be interested in looking at some more recipes. And it's the same thing with other things that you have on your site. Now I'm going to go ahead and use it as it is without making changes on it. But if you want to, you can change the background colors and the text color. You can change where it's at. Um, it can be, right now I have it after the menu bar at the top. It can be right above your content here if you want. Uh, let's go ahead and look and see how that one looks. Now one thing to notice here, this is where it has at the main right after this main navigation link here but when I do that before the sideboard you got this little space between here and that it doesn't come up there as nice and that's one option you can have it set up that way okay now I'm refresh the page and it's still here but it's coming a little bit lower down and this is going up to the top and I like that better and I'm going to go ahead and do make that one change and these are like the breadcrumbs, and it already comes in. You don't have to get a breadcrumb plugin or anything like that. And again, this makes it easier for people to go from post to post. Okay, here we are over here in links. You can see that uh, I'm not going to go into all the options here. One th cool thing about the Weaver 2 is they got really good documentation. You can click on any of these question marks, and it will take you right on over to where you can learn about those certain areas and things to do. And these are the links. The links are the things that people click on. They go to different sites, and they have certain colors, so they show up. And you have one color for one a link, one that you've already seen, and one that, like, when you hover over a link, so that when you hover, see how it changes color there when you hover over it? And this is different, but it's the same, same type of thing. And that makes it easy for people to see. It makes the website less flat. And uh, that's your regular link. Here's the link that would be, be like, in your post. Uh, these are the links like that are that are in your um, like right up here, like the date and stuff, and um, the links that are in your widget area. Widget area is all this over here on the side, and some widgets are in the bottom. This is wherever you want to put the widgets at. And the same thing with the info bar. You can change the color of the links that we have right up in here, and the footer links. But anyway, this changes the colors of the links, how they look. I make them bold or italic. Uh, you can add some CSS to make them look a custom way if you want. Uh, usually, you're probably good just where it's at. If you need to change something, you can go in, but otherwise, you just leave it alone. And here's the content area here. And this is like on the others. Uh, content area is the area that you add the content to. Your pages and your posts and things like that. And so you can go through and change any of those things if you want to, or you can leave them as is, as is is good too. This has a skinny little bar under the titles in your uh, post pages, and over here you have um, your images. If you want it to have a border, you can, or you can just leave it like that, transparent. Uh, but anyway, this is just where you change some of the CSS and some of those common things, or you can just leave them as is. Anyway, Heidi Caswell here, WordPress 101 for Boomers.